Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Shibli. I've been losing a lot of my hair lately, and I tried this DIY hair mask and it stopped my hair from falling out so much. This is my hair journey, natural curly hair vlog. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified to have more videos. And follow me on my Instagram and my jewelry, Shibli.com. I think I found the remedy for my hair loss, for me at least. It's crazy how good this works on my curly natural hair. So I have been experimenting on different DIY hair masks and I am so happy that this one worked. Okay, make for sure your aloe vera plant is very clean. Now you're gonna cut the end off like I already did and I'm not gonna use the whole plant of aloe vera cause a little bit goes such a long ways and we're gonna get the actual gel out of the aloe vera for this hair mask. So we're not gonna need the outer part. So I like to cut it in two sections and then make for sure you cut that spiky part and be very careful. Um, I cut one end off and then I'm gonna cut the other end off. Aloe vera contains enzymes that repairs dead skin cells on the scalp. Alright, so now it's time to slice the aloe vera in half. And once you slice it directly in the middle in half, it's going to look like this. And this is where all the aloe vera slippery slime gel is at. And this is what's going to give that really nice, great curl pattern for your hair. So again, why we're doing this great DIY hair mask that really will help you from losing hair or, you know, if you're just shedding just a little bit more than normal, this will completely like stop it. I mean, sis, this really helped me. It helped reduce my dandruff. It's good for conditioning hair and it brings smoothness and shine to your hair. It man maintains a really healthy pH of your scalp. It promotes hair growth we love that and it reduces hair loss I mean that's what the purpose of me doing this and aloe vera can be used in so many different ways I mean you can use aloe vera as a pre-poo a detangler a conditioner I mean so anyway we're going to scrape this really good aloe vera gel you guys you scrape it right off of the leaf like this you can do it with a spoon or a knife whatever you prefer so I don't know if anybody ever mentioned this in their aloe vera, you know, YouTube videos, but I'm going to mention it in mine, y'all, because y'all need to know this. This is like a, the key point of using aloe vera for any DIYs, not only mine, you know. So when you use this aloe vera from a plant, you should strain it. Strain it well. You can use a cheesecloth, a stocking, um, a strainer. Just make sure you really strain it well when you scrape out the aloe vera gel. I gotta say it, but if you don't strain it well, you know what can happen? The residue, y'all, the residue is the sticky part. It's on the end of the aloe vera plant too. That's why we cut it off. But the residue, it can leave like a very white residue flaking your hair that can make it look like you have dandruff and actually uh make your hair dry and it can give you dandruff or it can even look like you have dandruff so you want to make sure you really strain it well all right continue watching all the way through you guys because i have to introduce the next ingredients and i'm going to speed up the video a little bit dragon fruit helps keep your hair from falling <laughs> falling out and being dry and brittle prevents breakage vitamin b creates red blood cells that carry oxygen and nutrients to the cells in the scalp and the hair follicles i love this fruit you can use just the peeling like i did in this video or you can use the um, inside of the dragon fruit but the inside just tastes good y'all so i'm just using the peelings all right, so now it's time to place the dragon fruit and the aloe vera in this blender. And yeah, you kind of would need a blender because you really want to get it nice and fine and creamy so it doesn't um, 
get in big chunks in your hair. So make sure it's very fine and smooth. Similar to this, even smoother, because I made a mistake making it too chunky. And then I'm gonna apply some castor oil. This is the one that I usually use. I'll put the link down below. Get it on Amazon, uh, whatever amount you prefer. I'm doing about approximately of two teaspoons. You could use a grapeseed oil or coconut oil, but I prefer castor oil. This is everything a curly girl ever wanted. For defining soft, frizzy, free curls and curls that have slip and so easy to detangle. Yes, ladies, this is the bomb DIY. bubble gum yes or some kind of candy so make for sure before you even think about putting this in your hair or applying it in your hair make for sure your hair is not really tangled or matted up okay ladies make sure your hair is already detangled comb through brush through no knots no tangles you know what I mean just just make sure you do that first because I don't want you to be having a tornado putting this in your hair and getting it stuck in your hair so make sure you do that now when I apply it to my hair it's no like fast way to do it or anything some people part their hair up in different sections but I like to first apply it to my damage hair so my damage hair is uh, midway through my hair and definitely my ends girl my ends need this so much because I really want to replenish my curls and soften my hair and help my uh, tips so I really apply it to my ends first um, it is a bit chunky I did make a mistake ladies yes I'm gonna raise my hand I made a mistake with this DIY so um, when you get that dragon fruit okay it has like a little texture of a little bit of pieces of extra skin hanging out so cut that off nicely because I left that in my DIY and that's why it's a little bit chunky because the blender couldn't really blend that up nicely. So, but other than that, this is a really bomb DIY. Like the outcome, I'm still shocked and I can't wait to do it correctly with getting those extra pieces of skin, you know, taking those extra little textures of the skin of the dragon fruit off and that will make a big difference. So I'm almost done. I'm just doing like, you know, three to two sections on each side and just applying it. And you can put this directly on your scalp. It is like fertilizing your hair. So make sure your scalp gets it on there because it is going to help those follicles, ladies. Yes. Yes, applying it directly on the scalp of your hair can make a major improvement in your scalp in your hair. Again, it'll get that great hair growth and it has really, you know, this dragon fruit is so high in antioxidants and, and, and all different um, enzymes, y'all, that helps treat your hair issues. So yes. <laughs> I love this DIY like I'm gonna do this at least at least once a week that's how much like this did a miracle on my hair loss y'all I mean my hair was just falling out and I wasn't even doing anything but you know you lose about 60 strands of your hair every day so if you're washing your hair once a week that's gonna be more than what you would you know it's gonna look like a lot of hair cuz it's gonna be adding up but anyway enough said we're gonna jump in this shower <laughs> I mean my kitchen sink I'm not doing a sexy shower no more because it is too cold to be in a bikini trying to act like I'm not cold with the door open and no steam so I'm gonna do um, the rinsing the full on rinsing right here in my kitchen sink and it's great because it won't clog up my pipes so let's get started with that enjoy the rain
Oh yeah, ladies, so if you have curly hair similar to mine, my hair type is 3C, 4A, 4B. Yeah, like three different things going on in my head. <laughs> So I am rinsing this DIY out with really cold water. Cold water helps to seal the criticals in the hair and it keeps the protein bonds of your hair intact. This heals the frizz of your hair shaft and gives it a well-defined soft and smooth texture that I love and I can really feel the difference as I'm rinsing it out. Also it seals the critical of adding a glossy look to your hair by locking in the moisture and that's why it's really important to use super cold water. Now hot water opens up your hair criticals which helps the shampoo if you're doing a shampoo you know it just helps improve that but look at that y'all. Now tell me that looks like a straight curly weave like for real y'all you know when you get it from China it'd be having like that wave pattern and it, that looks like <laughs> I'm joking but anyway I just love how my hair feels right now it feels so soft the the hair is really clunky the curls are locked together I mean and this is just like rinsing it right out the back you know so now I'm letting the air dry a little bit. Just wanted to show you guys. Now I do have some pieces left in there. I did not use any shampoo or any conditioner. Um, yeah. So don't forget to leave a comment down below and like this video guys, but definitely leave a comment because I want to know if you ever tried aloe vera, what was your experience? Um, what did you do when you lost more hair than normal? Cause that's basically what I was going through. So, please leave the comments down below or, you know, or if you have any other questions uh, regarding to this video, I will answer them. And that's my daughter Shadaya and happy holidays to you guys and love one another and treat one another equal so we can all be loved. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks.